Look at the second thing Jesus did. Jesus prayed before and after he ministered. In other words, when he was doing work, he prayed before and after he ministered. Look at the word, Luke 5, verse 15 through 16. It says, news about Jesus kept spreading. Large crowds came to listen to him, teach and be healed of their diseases. But Jesus would often go to some place where he could be alone and pray. After Jesus got done healing folk and laying hands and speaking the word, what did he would do? He would run to an isolated place and pray. Why? Because he had given out and he needs to be filled back up. This is Jesus now. I said, this is Jesus. This ain't Pastor McBride. This is Jesus. Jesus, the Son of God, needed to be filled back up because he had given out. Can I help you with something? You give out too much for you not to be filled back up. Okay? Now, I ain't, I ain't even talking about preaching and, and ministering. I'm talking about you as a person. Do you know that you give out when you talk on the phone? You give out when you have to interact with your boss? You give out when you have to interact with coworkers? You give out when you got to interact with people? Do you know dealing with people is emotional and it is draining? Do you know that every time you got to give yourself to somebody else, they pulling stuff out of you? Just a simple conversation will leave you dry and messed up because they have pulled the very virtue up out of you. Doing this thing from day to day is an emotional thing and for all the pulling that's coming out of you, you don't put nothing back in. No wonder you an emotional wreck. Wife, you got to put back in. Husband, you've got to put back in. Mom, for everybody that you're taking care of, you've got to put back in. You running that business and you got to deal with all them employees and you ain't praying, you ain't putting nothing back in, no wonder you're snapping. No wonder everybody gets fired every two weeks. <laughs> you got to put back in. Y'all say amen to that. Yeah. So guess what? When I pray, you know what it does? It puts something back in me. Listen, the Bible calls the Holy Ghost a comforter. You know when you give out so much, the Holy Ghost will comfort you? He'll give you the peace that you need. He'll make you go through that day and don't nobody get on your nerves. He'll, he'll be with you that day to the point that you don't cuss nobody out. Now, y'all ain't saying amen to that because for some of y'all, that ain't your problem. He'll be with you the day where you don't give nobody no hard time. Folk will come at you crazy and all of a sudden, his peace will be on you and it just goes off your shoulder. He's like... I've learned a valuable lesson. The old folks used to sing a song that helped me to this day. If you hold your peace and let the Lord fight your battles. Somebody don't know what I'm talking about. Everything that happened to you does not demand your response. Sometimes you got to be quiet and kill them with your silence. Lord, have mercy. That won't even in there. Come on. <laughs> 